Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from eGetSec. Now, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, I recently showed you how to convert the ROG to phone from the Chinese to the global ROM. And I'm going to be doing the same, but for the Nubia Red Magic 3S. Now, as I mentioned before, if you've been staying tuned to the channel, this is the Chinese version of the Red Magic 3S with 256 gig of storage. And I'm going to be installing the global ROM on this one. So let's get started. Okay, so good news guys, you don't actually need to have a PC or a laptop for this. You have to go to the Red Magic 3 or Red Magic 3S uh, website. And they have a section here that lets you download the global ROM for a couple of phones. So you've got the Red Magic Mars, the Red Magic 3 and the 3S. I'll be downloading the Europe and the Asia version. So you can also choose the North America if you prefer, but I'm going to be downloading this one. So just basically click that one and it's going to start the download. Yep, downloading file. All right guys, download is complete. So the next thing that you need to do is go to file manager, go to storage management, internal phone storage, and I know it's on, on downloads. Uh, Copy that to the root. Okay. All right. So it's now on the root. So if you want to install it, basically go into settings, system update, and you see these three dots on the top. Click on that local update and select that update package. Okay. Install now. And let's just wait for that to complete. All right. So it was installed. It doesn't actually uh, do a factory reset on your phone, but one of the recommendations that uh, Nubia has is that we do a factory reset after installing it because this, this still has some of the Chinese bloatware. So you, you might face a couple of problems down the line. So it's better to do a factory reset. And you know what that means? You need to have your, you, have, you need to back up your files and ensure you um, copy over any of your photos, uh, apps. So you, you've got a couple of uh, backup options. So I suggest doing that because we're going to be setting this up from scratch. All right, so good example there. Something stopping in the background. So uh, let's shut this phone down for now. All right, it's off. So you have to go into recovery mode. You press the uh, volume up and the power button at the same time. Uh, let's choose English. Wipe data. cash right back to main menu and reboot all right so you're greeted with the nubia privacy policy so one more i have red policy the movie did uh, you have an option now for all the languages so keep it as english us skip that for now and let me just connect to a wi-fi all right so we're already past the setup screen and this is now the global rom on your chinese will be a red magic 3s so let's have a look here okay still android 9 pi let's see if we can get any updates here yep says so the latest version so i'll wait for an update and we'll see if OTA is retained, but it should be since we didn't do any other thing with the phone, we didn't root it, we didn't unlock the bootloader. So it should be intact. And actually the guide came from Nubia themselves. So they do support uh, installing a global ROM on their Chinese version phones. All right, so I'm going to be doing a couple more tests on this one. And if you guys are interested in going back to the Chinese ROM, 
I'll uh, send you over the link or I'll create a quick guide as well again uh, on how to get that back. But it's just basically the same thing. You just need to download the update or the zip file from for the Chinese version and then install it the same way using the system updates and local upgrade or local update. Alright, so um, I'll do a couple more tests here. I'll use it for a week. So of course the usual NT2 benchmark and see if the scores are have gotten lower and overall how I feel. But I think first thing I notice is this doesn't have gestures. So let's see if I can search for that. yep so it doesn't have gesture based you're still stuck with the uh, navigation buttons at the bottom the chinese one is more full-fledged or actually has more functionality in my opinion i did prefer using it but one of my problems or gripes with that one is that i don't have the play store but now here you've got the play store already <laughs> installed by default so you don't have to worry about uh, unlocking your bootloader or rooting the phone or doing anything else on that phone to get uh, this so that is a deal breaker for some, but I'll give it a try and um, I'll let you guys know in a week. So we'll end this quick video here, guys. If there's any questions, uh, put them down in the comments down below. So as usual, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all in my next one.